No, I'm not getting the remote. The first oh, one without my. zoom in? No zoom. No, no zoom. No zoom. Oh, you know what? Actually, I can. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> already rolling. Who's the good? Oh, shit. It's <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Slim Shady head ass. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Dude, somebody call him Slim Shady on the fucking No, they call, me, they call me, uh, <laughs> what is it, Jesus, Jesus guy? guy? Yes, yes. Yo, they call me Jesus all the time. <laughs> <'cause I'm laughs> here, bro. That, that makes sense. sense. All the time. Yeah, I just got called Slim Shady, and then when we were on the Mountain Dew thing, I got called... Slim Jesus. That was fucked up though, because you don't even look like him that much. Like it, you just have blonde hair. Like yeah. that's it, you know. Yeah. Oh, Norbert's man. world, everybody. Norbert's mm. world, everybody. Welcome. Episode twenty nine. Twenty nine. Twenty twenty nine. Twenty nine. Yes. Yes. Twenty nine. Or thirty. I don't know. I just worked. Yes, everybody. everybody. Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. Hey, guys. It's been a while. Yeah. The Stone Prophet. Yeah, I guess himself, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm all I'm shit. Okay, well, I am an aspiring artist slash musician from Jackson, Michigan. If you know, you know. I've been doing this music shit for a while now. Just trying to progress and evolve and whatnot. Shit, if you don't know who I am right now, give me like a year or two. <laughs> I bet you you will. Yup. Hell yeah. yeah. And, and long time, time friend of ours. Of ours yeah. yeah. As well. Besides John. I mean... I know who we went to school. We all we all went to school together. We all know each other in this room. We all know each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jacob is progressing through his music career pretty fast right now. I would say. I think that you know, like, like when we talk about like Avante, like Avante started (laughs) and then he like kind of went on, and it's like it took him like three years to make a video. Like Jacob, it took him like a year. Yeah, dude, you. You, you went, went to that, that shit, shit so quick. Like he was, uh, like he was kind of so like good. trying to start rapping a little bit, like with the JT stuff, and then like just one yeah. day, like Stone Prophet added everybody, oh, fucking started doing <laughs> shit. Like it was just like it literally just happened in a day, and then yeah, dude. from then, like I just like it's almost like every week, like you release like a snippet of like a new song that you're working on and shit. Yeah, well, see where I'm at right now is uh I've been trying to make as many videos as i can um i took a break on you know the little eps and projects because i came to realize that videos get a lot more traction people like the not just to listen to something but they they like that visual aspect of it as well and uh really it was an impulse decision if you want to know the truth uh I dropped my first video on New Year's of last year, like the transition from 2021 to 2022. And it was really just like a surprise for all my fans, anyone that fucks with my music. Like I said, it was an impulse decision. Like I started that day off knowing that I had a video to drop, but not knowing when I was going to drop yeah. it. And just fucking go for it. I yeah, just yeah, decided yeah, to do it. That's I saw the results. And since then, you know, the results motivated me to, like, keep pushing yeah. with that shit. And shit, you see where we're at right now. My name popping a little bit, to say the, the least. basement of my house. That's <laughs> where <I'm at> right. <laughs> <laughs> Still on the grind. Yeah, Nowhere but up, go. though. Yeah, yeah, on the way up. Well, soon, soon we'll be upstairs. That's what yeah, we're yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll make this one put man. the studio in the sunroom. Or in an RV like Steve O or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll put it in a porta potty. We'll just glue a bunch of porta potties together and just like turn it into a giant room. <laughs> That'd be <laughs> sick. We can, we can shit while we're doing the pod. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Just like, yeah. gotta take like a shit. Poop pod. Poop pod. Poop pod. Yeah. Poop pod. The future, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, it's it's awesome seeing you though. When I go on like, when I go on social media and shit, and I just see a fucking video of you performing. Like, yeah, that's really fucking cool. You're the only person that I know that performs on a regular basis. Like, you actively seek out performance, like like trying to grow yourself in the performance game, which is something that is like really undervalued because there are a lot of artists like. Um, like there's like, I mean, this isn't a rap artist, but like Bob Seger, another a rap artist would be Travis Scott, like mm-hmm. artists that grew based on like people would go to their shows and be like, yo, I went to the fucking Travis show. It's fucking crazy. Like yeah. that shit that gets, that's underrated. Like yeah. that kind of like hype is really underrated when, when you're like coming up. Definitely. I feel like part of the reason that you don't see 
as many people doing that is because, especially in Jackson, you know, small communities such as this. I mean, I'm not going to say small, but smaller yeah. communities where, Tiny. you know, the music scene isn't quite as big or popping as it might be in other cities. You know, uh, yeah. what fuck were we? I lost my train of thought. I hate when that happens, man. <laughs> I was trying to explain. Uh, yeah, okay. I feel like a lot of people tend to not take those opportunities because their ego is big. Yeah. They think that they're up there. They think that there's something. Like, like they don't need it. Yeah, like they think that they're in a position to where, oh, well, if they ain't putting money on the table, I'm not yeah. going to be there. Right. See, they don't understand that the real grind is when – you know, you're not getting paid shit to perform. Yeah, you're lucky to you're get You're just the opportunity doing to be on stage. it. Or sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they'll even still charge your ass an admission yeah, fee. Yeah, right. Yeah. And yeah. you're thinking, you're what the fuck? Yeah. I'm the performer. I'm bringing people in this bitch, and you're gonna charge me an admission fee. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Sometimes you just gotta go with it, just to take the opportunity. Hell yeah. Yeah, because you don't have the leverage yet. Yeah, exactly. Well, me and Robert really understand that shit with our Bob and Bobby channel because we put so much effort into our shit. And we put money into it sometimes, yeah. too. And it, I mean, we put thousands of I dollars. I spent $8 into that. on a gallon of fake blood and it came in it. It's like this big. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Haven was like, your fake blood came and she just like held it up and I was like, God damn it. It's a scam. And she's like, what do you mean it was a scam? I was just like, I bought a gallon. She's like, it's in a gallon, but it's not a gallon. It's eight ounces, you fucking idiot. You need to read the description. I'm like, I know. <laughs> yeah, no. It's fun, though. It's always fun. Is it nerve wracking going up on stage? Mm. Shit? Um, what's, what's your ritual? <laughs> my ritual, yeah. shit, man. What's the pregame? Uh, to clear my fucking throat, you oh, know, dude. to where my vocals sound, you know, as good as they can. Yeah. Uh, stay hydrated. Drink. Oh, I thought you were about to say stay high. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean that too to a certain extent, but I don't like get to really be high. too fried. Get too high, you start. I'll start fucking up lyrics yep. and shit. Yep. <laughs> but uh, now nah, I don't really have a specific ritual. I just you know stay hydrated. Keep yeah. try to keep my energy good. That's good. Um, it's not really nerve wracking yeah. going on the stage at least not as much as it used to be mm -hmm. uh you know sometimes i still get a little nervous get a little bit of uh pre-show anxiety oh, don't okay. get me wrong but it's nothing that i can't uh overcome right no. you get washed like, like a crazy amount, amount of like oh shit, shit you know? yeah like, just people going crazy yeah i i've always gotten good responses from the crowd there's only been like one time I've gotten like uh, hecklers or whatever the oh, fuck you want to say. <laughs> I want to hear it. I want to hear this shit. So I was at the Brass Rail mm -hmm. in Jackson, Michigan. I've heard of that place. This was actually the only they show the that I've been paid for. I got oh, paid wow. uh fifty dollars to do eight songs. Eight so it was songs? like a twenty. Yeah, that's an opening set. That's yeah, a good deal. Most opening sets only get like six. <laughs> yeah, your first gig? you got that's two extra songs. My first paid show, yeah. yeah. Damn, that's awesome. And it's not like the crowd was booing me or anything. It wasn't. They didn't. It wasn't that bad, okay. <laughs> but <laughs> there is okay. So this is actually funny as fuck. So I was performing, and this fucking Karen comes up to me, right? Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean by that? Just this like middle-aged like white not... soccer mom Yo. wait hold up was this not a rap show it was <laughs> why the fuck is she there because she's at because the, brass it's, rail. It's... the brass rail is not exactly that yeah it's a live that. music venue but it's also a bar yeah, yeah. slash yeah. restaurant of, like yeah. okay right crowd and the wrong crowd. Yes. yeah that's okay. kind of yeah that's exactly. a setup food's for great. absolute so fucking disaster drink, so dude are you kidding me so so um my so my song i'm about to do my next song, Bounce Back. Yep. Uh, if you know, you know. But she came up to me, and this is the fucking funny part, is that she came up to me like in between songs, and she was like, can you, can you tone it down with the cussing a little bit? <laughs> we, we have children a back bar. there. Yeah. We have children back there. And I just oh, look at God. her. I'm, I just look at her. I'm like, 
It's my I got set, you. dude. I just, I'm looking at her like, I got you. And then <laughs> right after she walks away, the fucking intro of Bounce Back comes on. Anyone hating on me, suck my physical dick, my metaphorical <laughs> dick, and my spiritual dick. <laughs> what the I'm fuck? just talking my shit. <laughs> and, <laughs> dog, I shit you not. Her son, bro, bless his heart. He was the most lit in the crowd, bro. Her son was like in the corner, like fucking, like got up from their table, went into the doorway, and was just like standing there infatuated, bro. Like dan, like dancing and everything, dog. That is yeah. That, that is confirmation that you made the right fucking choice. Oh yeah. yeah I wasn't exactly the fuck, the I'm right not going to stop my show cuz it's some bitch. Some bitch? Yeah, yeah, like, no, dude. like you know you know the risk you took. What did she expect you to do be like, I don't give up. <laughs> yeah, 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 let's yeah. go. Right. So much. <laughs> like, See what? I'm not I'm not big yet. I don't have any radio friendly versions of my songs. My shit is unfiltered. <laughs> that's not your job. If they want to put your song on the radio, you, that's their like, job. they need to they mix to, it so that's yeah. just like, I don't give up. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't give up. <laughs> <laughs> car horns over it and shit. Dump trucks farting. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> I don't give a <laughs> DJ. <laughs> you heard? Uh, have 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 any of you heard the censored version of that uh, Kendrick song? Uh, we cried together. No, but I love that yeah. song. That's my favorite song on that is album. It like, is it like? It oh, sounds man. like they uh. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> when the, when the chorus kicks on, it's just like fuck you, bitch. Doop. Yeah. Oh shit! I just said that. I almost said the N word. Almost oh, said the N word. Oh, Ooh, that would almost bad. got real close Ooh, there. Yikes! Something nice. Don't worry, guys. I like yeah. your earrings. It was directed at Johnny. So wow! Whoa! Wow! <laughs> well, you're Johnny. Polish. Yeah. Hey, that's too far. Nah, I know. Don't, hey. don't bring the Polish. Hey. You fucking po- <laughs> don't make you pierogi me. eater. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh, we, we, we go, go way, way back, back though. We, we all, all four, four of us went to the same, same school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for a long time too. Long I mean, time. I, went, I went. I went there for ten years. You went there the longest. I, yeah, I went yeah, second I went longest. longest. Yeah, you did so the whole ten years. Probably him than you. When did, when did you think? start mm-hmm. going? No, I. When did you start? I went there from fourth grade to yeah, sixth grade. Yeah, so I did. I not did. too long. Yeah, yeah. Those were the. Those were the. Peak years though, you oh, didn't yeah. miss out on anything. Mm, seventh grade was a little bit crazy, but besides that, you didn't eighth grade miss was better than seventh. Eighth, eighth, eighth grade was fucking insane. You could do whatever you oh, want. Oh yeah, I guess that's eighth true. Eighth grade was you could do whatever the nuts. fuck you want. Yeah, yeah, it didn't it matter was, anymore. Yeah, right. It was like the old west. The wild. Locked the teacher out the classroom. Dude, they did that every day in the seventh grade. Every fucking day. We notched that shit up. Took it up a notch. Eighth grade was definitely man. Yeah, no, there's a lot of great fucking stories. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I feel like there was one, though, that we were just talking about that, like, like not too long ago, where we were like, when we have Jacob on, we need to ask him about that. The oh, shit oh no, we were talking about Joey, when we have Joey on. Oh, yeah. yeah. Joey shit in the What great? Was that in seventh? He knows Joey. When, I know, but was that in seventh or sixth grade? I think I would have been in seventh. I think, seventh. Known, I think talk it was about it. Talk, talk about, about it. it. Do you remember there was, like, footprints... That were taped over on the floor, exiting the hallway for a little while. Yeah, you yeah, do? yeah. Do you know the story behind that? No. It was Joey was he had a little bit of an accident <laughs> on his way to the bathroom. Okay. Uh, he was, just he was running, <coughs> kind of slipped out <laughs> on the floor, and uh, by some kind of miraculous feat of I don't even know what the fuck happened. Mr. Kreesh <laughs> managed to walk in it and track it down the hallway. So they had to, like, they just taped over it so, like, the cleaning people would know, but he literally tracked footprints of shit down the hallway. Oh, and yeah. it was there for, like, a while. a while. It was in middle school. It was in middle school, man. That's terrible. That would have smelled so bad. How the fuck did we not smell that? Like, like that would have been so fucking smelly. Dude. Nothing is worse than stepping in dog <laughs> shit. Oh but wait, human, human shit. shit. <laughs> yeah, human shit is worse. That's <laughs> no, that's Dude, fucking crazy. I remember uh, one time I had somebody make me one of those fucking origami throwing stars. Mm. Yeah, it's probably me. And, <laughs> and uh, probably ends in uh, detention or something. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
I fucking I I was just being dumb and just bored as shit, just a, a kid, you feel me? And uh, I just like drew dicks all over it, like on some Jonah Hill super bad type <laughs> shit. Dude, like, I fucking, fucking remember, remember this. this. <laughs> <laughs> Drew dicks on, like, all the, like, blades and yep. shit. Yeah. And uh, it was, I think, Mrs. Magus's class. Yeah, Mrs. Magus. And I fucking threw it at Lucas Mendez, I believe. Yeah. And fucking the teacher picked it up immediately and just sent my ass straight to the office. <laughs> I go to the office. <laughs> I'm talking to Mr. Creech about it. Yeah. As he's explaining to me why what I'm doing is like wrong and why I shouldn't be doing it, he kind of just looks down at it for yep. a second and then like starts laughing. <laughs> and you can tell like what? he's trying to control his laughter, you know what I mean? But he just looks at me and starts laughing as he's talking like, you know, <laughs> you can't be doing stuff like this. <laughs> it's like it's like a weapon of dick, man. Like, that doesn't even make sense. It's like, going to get in your head and make you uh <laughs> make you side with me. Yeah, <laughs> some kid was just like, "Oh my eye." And you're like, "No, what? some of those went over to pick dude. up the weapon." And it's just covered in dicks. You're like, wait a second. You discovered, <laughs> you discovered like a weapon, weapon that's not, not only a physical danger, but a mental, mental danger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It fucks with your brain. <laughs> Man. Jacob drew the uh well, yeah, he drew the the better version. Derek drew the original version, but Jacob drew the the goaded version of uh Lucas Lucas Chink or Lucas mm-hmm. Ching. And it was just this fucking <laughs> picture we just, oh, oh, we just yeah. passed it around it was just like because we were like lucas looks asian <laughs> so he just like so he, so derek drew this like kind of like you know like an asian guy and then jacob drew a actual picture of lucas <laughs> with a china man hat on <laughs> and fucking like squint eyes I forgot Dude, about he that. almost got bullied out of school that year bro that was bad like like literally oh, like God. we were just like look at this look at this lucas <laughs> look at crazy, this he, he was, was the, the fucking chad, chad. Like, it was oh like, yeah, yeah no he was the giga chad of that one. Cool, yeah no it's it's crazy that anybody is susceptible to bullying at any mo- given moment <laughs> yeah. based on your ethnicity mm. well middle yeah, school it's a little more easier in high school it wouldn't have gone that way Probably yeah not. like if you weren't friends you did in high school he would just you know, the, the, the biggest thing, thing with our school, school was we, like, like we, we all stayed together all day. So We're a big, built, happy family. Yeah, it built, like, a sort weird of. community vibe. So yeah. you could, like, bully people, but it'd be, like, sibling bullying. There were, mm-hmm. there were, bo- there were bottom-of-the-group people, Definitely. but even they had friends. Oh, yeah. Like, no, everybody yeah. had friends. You know, nobody was, like, completely isolated to the point where, like, they couldn't do anything. Yeah. I mean, sometimes at the beginning of the year, I'd feel like that. But then yeah. at the end of the year, it'd be like, you know, I was rolling with a group of people. You yeah. know? Well, it's like later in the years, we all have established where <laughs> yeah, we right. are. And the new kids will come in, they find their way in. It just right. worked. I was yeah. always like in the mi- lower middle, like lower up, upper lower of the spectrum. Yeah. I was happy there. I was sad when Jacob left, man. First- I was sad too, bro. See, it's crazy because like when I switched from Paragon to Western, mm-hmm. Like, I fucked with some of the staff at yeah. Western, but I nine like ninety five percent of so the student bad. body, fuck them. Yeah, dude. And no. I say that disrespectfully because uh, <laughs> I agree with, with the them. most pure hatred in my heart. I say, <laughs> too. I say that. Sucks, man. Yeah, I no, say that disrespectfully great, I love staff. because I feel like when I went to Western, I came from a different environment than most of those kids Mm -hmm. i grew up around a different community than most of those kids you know i mean those kids never don't know what black people are (laughs) we out of four people on this podcast (laughs) we hated western so bad that they stopped going to western we we i almost like not sued them but pressed charges against (laughs) like it was bad yeah no fuck western Um, (laughs) not me but my mom like it was bad i just i feel like the students at western never liked me because they always thought I was just some white kid who tries to act black. Yeah, duh. even though half Why of them are literally that. black. The insinuation that, you know, I hate when of like acting shit, black yeah. is such a racist fucking thing. Like Not, you can't act black. I right. Remember I had <laughs> I had uh 
when I was there in 10th grade, because I went there in 9th grade, and they gave me 10th grade classes for yeah. some reason. And that's then crazy. Because you were a Paragon that's kid. Crazy. Paragon was always ahead. Nah, yeah, that's true. not the case. When I went there, I mean, no offense, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. They gave him 10th grade class. They gave me 7th grade true. classes. Yeah, no. Damn. No, but they gave me 7th grade class. I was doing out pre-algebra in 9th grade. Why is pre-algebra seventh grade? It's an eighth grade class. Yeah, I was about to say. What did you take? For so okay, history? no, in in ninth grade they pushed me. Like I even went into ninth grade history, and then they mm -hmm. called the teacher and said, "Oh, this student's supposed to be in tenth grade history." And I was like, "Yeah, no, well, maybe yeah, your crazy. history." Was we had a couple Who classes knows? together, but yeah. they gave me like I had a couple ninth grade classes, but the other half were all eighth grade classes. Yeah, like. Because they look at me like, oh, it's just another black kid. He's right. not that smart. <laughs> but they know we came from the same school. We came in together. Yeah, it was a group of us. In fucking 10th but... grade, I had ninth grade classes. Mm -hmm. So I was with these younger kids, and I would wear my clothes. I'd go there in my outfits, my shoes, and shit. And then every fucking time I was in there, they would say something. And it was such a weird <laughs> feeling because, like, I didn't care. Right. But it was the fact that it was everybody in the classroom. Yeah. And the teacher didn't give a fuck. I'm so it glad so I didn't weird. go to school, bro. I would have, I, I like, I would have been such a fucking asshole <laughs> yeah. all the time. No, I just, I don't put up with shit. You already know this. Like, no, I don't fight people, people, but I will. Right. And I will get <laughs> That's my ass I whooped. Too. I will get my ass whooped oh, yeah. out of like <laughs> literally <laughs> just fucking. You gotta hating defend people. yourself. Yeah. 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 No, like. Not. I'm not I'm I'm not a fighter either. Like the fuck I look like getting in fights, I have heart issues and shit. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. But I will defend myself if it comes down to it. Don't get oh, me yeah. wrong. Always. Oh, I, you yeah. can't you can't just it, tolerate any type of bullshit cuz then people will just walk all over you. For sure, man. I didn't pick fights until 10th and 11th grade. Like western cuz I was yeah. like it there's five you, black man. people here. I can't fight anybody here. And I got, there, I don't know if you remember, there was a couple I almost got into at Western, but I'm like, if I fight him, the whole school's going to want to fight me then. Yeah, right. I'm one of five black kids, and I'm one of the new ones. Man. So, <laughs> but at Jackson <laughs> High, man, oh, yeah, there was there was some conflict. Yeah. Because I had a group, and there was another group. Because, like, the Jackson High has the outdoor place you go to eat during lunch, and we just we had our table. It was just, it was fine. We we did this half the year. Then these new freshmen came out of nowhere. They Always the they were fucking freshmen. They thought they were the fucking shit. I swear. And we had a short Mexican. His name was Carlos. I love you, Carlos. I hope you're okay. He disappeared. We don't know where he is. Oh, <laughs> He's man. gone. But Rip Carlos, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Carlos. I hope to see you again. But yeah. he, like, you know, he's just short. He was cool, though. And he was part of our group. He was off throwing his, like, tr his tray away, you know. He finished lunch, throw it away. Yeah. And these fucking ninth graders come up and he was, like, you know, doing all this shit to him. And we're like... It's like, yo, Carl's about to get jumped. He was like, oh, shit. We all run over there. So there's like five of us, five of them, and then Carlos in the middle. <laughs> yeah, I are didn't they nuts? Size group. Yes, they're fucking nuts. George. What the fuck? And then it almost became a fight because we all talk, you know, oh, beat your ass, whatever. <laughs> yeah. We started to walk away, and then Carlos stepped down. Like, it's like the trash can's up here, and there's like a little ledge. Yeah. And Carlos went down the ledge, and then my friend Anthony, you know Anthony, yeah. he went with him. And then I wouldn't fight Anthony. The one kid, like the ringleader, we also yeah. call. He seemed like that. He like jumped off the ledge, almost Superman punch, like commit everything, full commit, Superman punch. Anthony happened to see it because he's like a ninja, and was like, Whoa. he's and the kid, big dude. stupid. Yeah. Dude. Oh my god. And then I was like, oh shit, Anthony's gonna kill this kid. Yeah, dude. Because you know he doesn't. I know I would. He don't fight Anthony play. any fucking day. So I had to <laughs> jump down there. I'm like, yeah, you don't want to do this, Anthony. You don't want to fight this guy. You know what I'm saying? It's not yeah. really worth <laughs> it. Do it. <laughs> and like the kids over here, like, oh. oh you know fucking ninth grade i'm like oh shit oh shit Bro. but it ended off good because our big friend malachi he's huge he came up like you want to fight and he was like no nah, i'm good bro he's like yeah, yeah. <laughs> he like, no nah, i'm no, good no, bro no, 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 <laughs> no, yeah. that was that was a good the one. the only thing that can beat size is a gun oh, <laughs> <laughs> or any kind or of shit. weapon you shiv, or, you yeah, yeah, yeah. any type any of weapon, weapon yeah. really yeah. Or like crazy, you know. Imagine, imagine yeah. enough to grab like Man, yeah. shit. Imagine, imagine if you were like some five year old was talking mad shit and you were just like, All right, <laughs> fuck, let's fight then and this right. five year old just pulls out nunchucks and just starts going nuts <laughs> with yeah, them. Man, no. Mm -hmm. No, you're I'm, backing off. No I'm, way. Yeah, shit, five year old, no way. I remember my uncle told me a story. Rest in peace, my uncle Jeremy. I remember he told me a story one time, uh when he was younger, he was playing basketball at the Cascades basketball court. Okay. And some kid, you know, like some kids rolled up. 
and they're like trying to like get you know they're trying to like uh fuck with him and like trying to take the ball or whatever some type of shit and so like my uncle says some shit this, this little motherfucker pulls out a strap on him bro oh damn God. at <laughs> the basketball court <laughs> what that's how you know it's Jack. That's Jackson yeah. activity. You right got there. jumped at the basketball court in Jackson, bro. Cascade's supposed to be, and that was like way back in the day too. <laughs> Cas- Cascade's supposed to be like the nicer side of town. You ain't safe nowhere in Jackson. No. I'm telling you. Because his safe brother goes sharp. and plays over there all the time. Insane. I'm like. He's got to watch out because Jacob got jumped over there and he was like... And I got jumped to Cascades, yeah. 90% of the fights I've been in in my fucking life have been at that basketball Fucking Cascades. Bro, I swear it's got a certain energy to it, bro. It just brings that out of people. Like, for whatever fucking reason. It stopped ever since they changed the court, though. They, like, repainted it. No one fights anymore. <laughs> it's probably because it's too bright. Like, you can't yeah, fucking see yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. This, nah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Christian goes there like every day. I know. know. I'm worried about every him. Every day. <laughs> but he's probably, yeah, we're worried about him, but he's probably over there like fucking people. He's gonna like, be so he says he is. Strap, I mean, bro. I don't know. He Man. says he is. He says he is. <laughs> I'd fight Christian. <laughs> I, f- I mean, I do fight Christian. Yeah, you do fight. <laughs> I mean, I do fight Christian. If I fought Christian, I would probably have to go a little easy. I've only fought him one time, like. <laughs> Full, he's got the like strength, legit fight. No, he doesn't. The, no, he does. No, no, no. He he's you know? relatively strong, dude. But I let me whooped his ass at arm wrestling. Like it wasn't even close. I don't know, but when he's mad, like I fought him one time. Dude, I don't like, care. Ever. I no, I I'm get, telling you, I man. have Robert dude, mad strength, man. No, okay, okay, true. fine. He's got a little so. bit of R word. R word strength. I fought him one time. He's got right? That's what I was. He does. Trying to say. Avante had to break it up because I was gonna kill him. So whatever happened, this is like the only real fight we ever, like real fight we've ever been in. And like I'm Brother swinging, I'm landing hits. Christian's not really landing hits, but I'm landing hits. And because I did jujitsu for like a month, yes. I, was, I, always, I always go for the legs, just because I know if yep. I get you on the ground, I know enough positions to kill you. Go for the legs. So I got Christian Johnny. on the ground. I got him like this, and I'm just <laughs> like I'm not even fully doing choke. You're just doing the the Homer Simpson. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like leg lock. Just, just got like him locked, this. and you're just holding. I have him locked. I'm like life oh, in your hands. Slowly. And then Christian, I didn't know it, but I guess Christian tapped. And I'm just. Nah, there's no tapping when the blood. Christian tapped, and I'm just doing this. If I had to rip me off him, like oh Avante god. saw the tap. If he didn't see the tap, there wouldn't be a Christian. I wouldn't be here. Oh my but god, dude! He saw the tap and he got me off. And he's like, "Dude, he's purple," and I'm like, "Oh, oh shit, he is purple." You say it like Avante like is has energy. He's just like, "No, he did like that." Purple. No, it was cra- no, no, no. He did. It was crazy. He was like, "Bro, he's purple." Like. Johnny, I think you've it didn't rage feel issues, real, man. I do. <laughs> nah, that was. I'm sure Christian did some crazy shit, dude. He Christian did. Pisses kinda. me off all the time. <laughs> well, he was trying to fight Avante. Uh, like Christian was trying to fight, fight. Like he threw, he hit Avante. Like he actually he was punched too much Avante. UFC, and he started Basically, getting into the mindset. He yeah. punched Avante, and Avante didn't necessarily get into it, but he was like, he would defend himself. Yeah. And Chris, he's like, you do it again, we got to fight. Basically, and Christian was about to go for it, and that's when I like ran in. Kind of deflected it, and then we <laughs> got into it. it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Christian's not. I know how to fight Christian. Right. Like, he throws the same punch, and I deflect the same punch for 15 years. So. Fair enough. Hey, I gotta say something. You might not know this. Johnny, Johnny used to be a rapper, bro. I didn't know that. Johnny <laughs> used to be a professional, legendary rapper. <laughs> Go to Everything he was Johnny the Trapper. Oh my the God. Trapper. Johnny Ooh. the Trapper. We went Ooh. through LA. He's, we went through. We went through everywhere. His we Facebook thing is tour. still his Lousy Vert version, like his own little <laughs> Vert. Yeah. That's funny too, cause yeah, I think I've actually I'm not even with her anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the girl, yeah. the girl that I'm not even with anymore. Mm. Uzi Vert. Yeah, no, so what do, you, what do you think? Uh, what was your most memorable or like? What was your your hottest bar? What was your best lyric? Yeah, <laughs> that's a sure. great question. Sure. I love how you made this into something. This is, this What's is your great. hottest bar, Johnny? I don't have any bars. Damn. Bro. Damn. I like the one I'm where he was just like, I wear Crocs and socks, Damn. but only on Wednesdays. I fuck wow. your bitch, and it seems like a fun day. I like that one. Ooh. It sounds like you lost your mojo. Is that what you're saying? What's your yeah, favorite yeah, bar, Ethan? Yeah. Oh, my favorite Of, of Johnny's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Oh, it's the one when he's saying, I'll kick you to the curb if you don't squirt. And then mm, I, that was a good one. Something about that. It was something like that, yeah. No, no, it's I kick you to the curb if you don't squirt. I'll choke you out so bad I'll make you hurt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a good bar. <laughs> I channeled, I channeled <laughs> I'll choke that. you out so bad, comma, I'll make you hurt. <laughs> that was in my brain when I was choking Christian. You yeah. Know? yeah. I was like, just, 
Yeah. New hey. album, Johnny the Trap Star. I'm going to drop, I'm drop a couple no, hot no, bars no. real quick. All right. You drop some bars. Yeah, do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. My bitches, they come in tens like Ben. I'm getting to that chicken like hens. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, hey, that was a rip off of Johnny oh. the Trapper. I remember that. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I had to bite your shit real quick. Come on. I'm the OG. I mean, this I was like 12 years old, so you know. Bro, that band way before, shit, though, way, way before Avante and you. Oh man, that was no, crazy. that was that was way back in the day. I remember, I was I was a rapper for like 10 days. <laughs> 10 days. Yeah. Yeah. I had a song. I have a song that's out there. Yeah. If well, anybody can it find it, they can find it. But I it's out there. For it. It's not there anymore. <laughs> it's not. Is it the it, one? It should still be there. I didn't delete. Is that it. a rap song though? It's Is more it? of a sing song. It's made a, a sing, sing song? song. Yeah, it's a, a sing, sing song, song, rap song. <laughs> oh, oh, a sing yeah. song, ching man of culture, song. Rap song. Hmm. man of culture, some melodic song. shit. Yeah. Some some melodic shit. Yeah. 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 Got it, got you it. You know, cocaine, cocaine okay. on the dresser. Okay. Young thug type <laughs> vibes. Free thugger. Free thugger. Free thugger. What? Johnny. He said what? <laughs> Do you agree with what Young Thug was doing, Johnny? <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> you don't know. Well, you don't know what he's in trouble. I don't know all the controversies. Oh man, you you would like this one. What Young Thug do? You know who Young Thug is? I know who he is. But okay. what he I'm just making <laughs> no, I, sure. I, I don't know what the controversy is. Okay, so what he, do. he got in trouble for, uh, what's it fucking called? The It has a name for it, but basically in, he create like, they're accusing him of, like, creating Slime Gang or whatever the fuck it was. And, slime Gang? Or whatever. What? what is it called? Like, it's, uh, it's like Slime some shit. It's like an Atlanta gang, right? Yeah. He's I'm going the to Atlanta. founder of it. YSL. Why so. why so? Oh, young slime something or yeah, yeah. young slime lay something like that. Yeah. So um, he's good. like accused so of he being made the gang? gang creator, and they oh. ac- they they're basically they killed some people. They uh, almost killed one the guy. With, then they c- actually did kill a guy. Is but the, thing with the yeah mm-hmm. the reason yeah, yeah, that they accused it. him of they got him mm-hmm. was because they associated he like rented out a car. They mm-hmm. traced it back that. That car was the was car that was when, used yeah. to kill the guy, and that young thug had paid for it. Bro, they're so, doing twenty years. Big, yeah. Are they incarcerated already? Or are they like going through? They're in jail. They're on trial right okay. now. But it's not just Young Thug. It's Gunna. It's like a bunch of rappers that nobody fucking knows of that are in. Yeah. Uh, well, people that, know of Gunna. That's people, and young thug. I was gonna say they're just not on the same pedestal. They're like, like pop rap. Like, like their rap goes on the radio. Yeah, kind of. Like well, that's because they're so popular. Yeah, that's Young Thug. Pop young rap, Thug. Yeah. I'm really sad because Young Thug is literally like a top ten rapper. Right yeah, no, now. Young his, Thug. His shit is he, really he good. Shit. Yeah, they're, they're gone, gone though. I was riding on a bike. Not necessarily. I'm just seeing memes. Make it out. Maybe. I just see memes of people saying that like no one's gonna be listening to them in twenty years type shit. Well, mm-hmm. Kodak was away for a while. He came out and made a top seller. Yeah. Kodak Bobby was Smurf. never accused but it wasn't 20 of, an, years. of creating a gang. That motherfucker. That's like a big I know. It wasn't 20 years, but. He is, dude. He is super Who? grown, man. Like the yeah. song said. <laughs> what? He's something else. Who? Kodak. Oh, yeah. Oh, Kodak, Kodak dude. yeah. Kodak yeah. is an also a top 10 rapper right now, dude. He's fucking like. Well, his... people have always loved him. And then when he came back, it was just, oh my God. Yeah. Then he's fucking a bitch in. <laughs> a, a, at a hockey game in the press box and everybody can see it and he can't walk in his suite he also can't walk like literally every do you remember that i didn't dude that. he was literally having think, sex doggy style i think like, like this. i think it was a joke in a press I box and was... people were like zooming on it, like yo kodak's having sex <laughs> dude Jacob says he thinks it was fake i think no, no, well, no, not it was fake real. but like, like a joke I, I think they was just like fucking what? around like it yeah. wasn't it wasn't dude. really <laughs> okay i don't think they were really doing it but i could be wrong i don't know but I, I don't remember. Know. I even know about it. it. Shit, Kodak, like I said, Kodak's a different breed, so maybe. He definitely yeah. is a different breed. I remember, like, five <laughs> years ago, he had a story on Snapchat, or, like, it was, like, an Instagram Live, and he was in the shower, and he dropped his fucking phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, the worst handle of fucking everything. It was so that. bad. I remember that. <laughs> That shit was the worst, man. Oh, you're right. He did trick people. I fell for it. I didn't. Ah, I fucking knew it. Bro, Polish. You're Polish. False Polish. news. False news. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. 
Robert, you're gullible. Why would he? I feel like that's a bad cover up, though. Like, he did have sex, felt embarrassed about it that people saw it when he didn't think, and he's like, no, I was just playing around. Like, that's so. also a possibility. It, it, See, that's what I would do. I'd just be like, no, I was maybe having fun. I, don't know. I was just playing. Having fun. I was just playing. A, we were okay. playing patty cake. Dude, See, it yeah, looks yeah. real as shit. It's crazy <laughs> how, like, it really looks like he's having sex. You watch too much porn, man. Or he has you guys, too much uh, sex. Ever done anything in public? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. same here, bro. Yeah, I have. Shit, have you, Robert? <laughs> you don't seem like the type. No. Yeah. I was uh, like Where were you? at the movie theater oh, wa shit. watching Infinity War. You did yeah. it in the Infinity theater. Infinity War came out. Yeah, it was in you the theater. You know they can see you, man. Huh? They can see you. I don't, we didn't get caught. That's crazy. And, but we were bold as fuck. I'm not going to lie because that bitch was... It was Infinity War, yeah. so you know that you know motherfucker was. had some people in it. It wasn't Actually, empty. It was smarter, like though, halfway people, full at true. least. If yeah. not more than that, more people, the less chance they're but gonna see you. There was nobody in our row, so oh. what we did, <laughs> just kind of like, like, <laughs> Demonstrate, just kind of like, oh, oh. 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 oh shit, oh. <laughs> That hit me like right <laughs> on the eye. My bad, bro. I was trying to demonstrate how we just kind of. I was eye, trying bro. to see this video. I was, I was trying to demonstrate how we just kind of. Damn, you went like under the like. Not on like just on the floor. You yeah, feel me? yeah. Wow. Damn, man, that's smart though. Didn't Mason do that like years no. ago? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty. It was either Mason or Craig. They they were talking about how they did a long time ago in a theater. She was riding and she threw yeah, up. Yeah, it was Craig. Yeah, it was Ooh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, This is like, we're, we're you know, It's an insane story. Ago. And he doesn't really even act is. like it's that it big really of a deal. Is. Like, he's just like, That's yeah, insane. no, me and Shira having sex in the theater because yeah. nobody was there. The reason, so, you it was like. I have to bleep her name out. Yeah. <laughs> well, she threw up because yeah. she's like, she, I think she was a virgin yeah. or close to her, you know, hasn't had much sex. So she's No, no, no. He has sex with underage girls. Yeah, but this is we were well, underage <laughs> then too though. This is years. Where's ago. Chris Hansen at? Hold yeah. up. <laughs> he was under. Where's Chris Hansen at? Uh, he needs to step okay. out from I the shadows. Girls, I mean girl. He has girl. sex with un underage girl yeah. who's about yeah. to be of age in a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But How old he's was he? technically gonna be twenty one before she turns eighteen, so he'll be twenty one. And what's about the, the girl then? Like in, when this when it happened? When Craig was Not a now. little boy. Yeah, well, when the threw up happened. I don't know now. Oh yeah, no, that was that was. They were both young. Oh, that I, don't know who. I don't think that was Cheyenne. I don't know. Whoever I'm was. Accusing, I'm accusing Cheyenne of. I'm sorry, Cheyenne. That was not you. No, it was someone. It was, that uh, was not you. I if it was you, then it wasn't this you. Shit. <laughs> That's bold as fuck. Just yeah. like, throwing her name out there like that. Hey, I Whoever it was, name. she threw up because she was inexperienced. So she hopped on and she's and I, like, ah! I really you know? don't care <laughs> because um, also because <laughs> she doesn't apparently like me and I'm. That's yeah, a, we no. don't like her either. That's fair. I know your stories. That's fair. Craig shit in the bed. What? Craig I like I like the other one bed. more than her. He sharded, he sharded in, in bed. bed with with Cheyenne. Yeah. And it went through his pants, through the sheets, yep. and then into he, the bed. And like a week ago he convinced me to get on PlayStation with him for like the first time in like a year. <laughs> and I hopped on within five minutes he dropped like a whole pizza on her bed. <laughs> he was like, Oh, and I was like, what'd you do? I just dropped a whole pizza on Shy's bed. Bro, what? <laughs> it's like, what the fuck, man? Come on, <laughs> Craig. Get you so oh, control. I just dropped like a whole pizza on Shy's bed. <laughs> that's how me and Mason always do his impression, dude. That's, that's what he said. Bro, I miss Mason, bro. I ain't seen that motherfucker in Oh, years. yeah. You guys used to be buddies, man. I know. Gotta get him around. Yeah, I know. We just, me and Robert just <laughs> I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, I'm, we, I'm trying day, man. hitting him up. And like we like he responds to me, but like I just told him, you know, let me know if you ever trying to hang out. And just, well, Mason's really busy. That's yeah. Thing. I mean, he, we're both busy, so that's what makes it even harder. And, like we we technically haven't had on the podcast yet. Technically, yeah, no, because we had him on in that yeah, episode. Was so so fucked, yeah. we tech, you know, we haven't we haven't got him here yet. <laughs> you couldn't drop the episode. No, it was no, terrible. Oh, it was there were seven it was people awful. here. It was terrible. Yeah. It, was, it was awful. We had fun, the seven of us, but yeah, but no, you couldn't put, put it together the right yeah. way. Yeah, that was that's it's always like a big kind of shot in the dick. Uh, right? I mean, you, shot in the dick. <laughs> you live and you learn, man. Yeah, no, it's 
been living. It's, Let's do ten people next time. The thing that matters is that we keep going. Yeah, after a big fuck up like that. Definitely. So don't get if, unmotivated. The yeah. question I have for you, Jacob, is um, what whatever happened to the banana chair at your house? The the what? The banana the chair. What? Do you know about the banana? banana. Do you remember you talking the about banana the Lucas story? banana story? Lucas and I and you got in a giant fight with a banana, and Lucas decided to. <laughs> fucking smear banana like all over us and then when we like got up we were wrestling on it, it was at your grandparents house yeah it was in that basement we were wrestling well uh, you know he whips out a banana fucking uh, like you know we're wrestling with mm-hmm. it because he like tries to like shove it down my throat and shit. <laughs> we, get <up. laughs> we get up we get up and there's just banana all over the chair like it's it, literally the chair is banana yeah. just banana is banana code name for something else no, there's banana. no way <laughs> oh okay banana. okay um i vaguely remember yeah. <laughs> yeah i don't know i i didn't think you would your I, dad got really pissed at us for dude, that dude <laughs> if anything it probably was forgotten about within a month yeah, and they probably either just got the chair cleaned or threw it away. They probably got it cleaned though, bro. Uh, Do you remember, remember sixth grade camp? <laughs> How could I forget? I love sixth grade camp. <laughs> your dad was your dad was in charge of us. Wasn't yeah, he was. Do you remember the bathroom situation with me? Not not entirely. Uh, <laughs> yeah, with the the uh, urinal wall being ripped off. I never heard this one. I, dude, I kind of <laughs> do. I kind of okay, do. So it was like the last couple days of camp, and I went in the bathroom with Mason, and I was standing, on, like, I was pulling myself up on the urinal wall, and it, like, it cracked, right? Yeah. And then I walked away. It didn't fall off. It cracked. Yeah. And then the next day, I wake up, and all the, there's just talk going on about who ripped off the girl wall in the bathroom? <laughs> I went in the bathroom and it's on the fucking floor. Oh, on the wow. ground. Was that at the YMCA camp? No. no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a Y camp. Was oh, it? Yeah, yeah no, it was a Y camp. I remember, I remember it was a Big huge. chair, yeah. Big I, chair. I remember it was a big deal because big chair everybody was line. like, oh, uh, like, was like do you hear about Ethan and Mason? They, they blame it on Kendall. Kendall. Oh, Kendall. And then I, that's, that's when I came forward because I still I wasn't saying anything because I had the thought in my mind if I didn't actually do the. Well, I think what it. probably happened is right. you got it cracked and, and somebody went no somebody went to go piss and they pulled it to you know yeah. flush it yeah. and then it was like just fell. No, 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 like <laughs> that's the probably what it is. Oh, the whole wall thing that came out and so oh. that's not that. It's like a wall. Somehow, Somehow Kendall, Kendall was getting. I thought she pulled the whole it. fucking urinal off or something. I thought he like cracked the urinal like because he made no, a, a no. ceramic and like it fucking no i was oh. like grab the top That's of the wall and bad. push myself up but uh, i'm assuming mason spilled some beans because my name was being thrown around already and they were also blaming kendall maybe because we looked similar but <laughs> i all white so, guys look the same to me kendall was crying though so i had Man. to i came yeah, forward yeah, and yeah. i started crying because i got like Fair two enough. teachers cornered literally cornered me and were like what did you do we know you did something. And I was like, ah! And, yeah. And then I, yeah. I broke the urinal wall. I did it. In yeah. retrospect, that's so easy to fix. My dad you get your little brackets and a screw. <laughs> beep, beep, They said beep, I had to pay beep. for it, and I, my dad doesn't even remember if he was charged. Oh, you got to pay for crazy. four fucking no. screws and one guy's hour of labor? Yep. <laughs> Not even an hour. Like Not 30 minutes. Five minutes, yeah. yeah. Honestly, like, 30 minutes at most. And like, maybe. Just hold it up. Yeah, wow. Put it, prop it between your legs. <laughs> that, that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> You're done. Even at very most, you either buy new brackets. Yep. So, like, yeah, that's hilarious. So, $5. Five dollars. Five dollars in repairs. You got some shows coming on soon? Um, honestly... I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. Probably. I need to get better about, like... Bugging uh, the shit out of people about <laughs> performing. Not even that. Well, kind of. Just communication in yeah, general. Yeah. A lot of the time. Because, like I said, I'm in kind of in a position where most of the shows that I'm doing, I'm not getting paid for. Yeah. Right. I've only gotten paid for, like, one show as of right now. But, uh... Basically... Fuck, I hate when I lose my train of thought, bro. Concerts. Concerts, yeah. Concerts. When will we see you at Faster Horses? <laughs> <laughs> Would you do Faster Horses? If Yeah, if they wanted me to. 
You, you know, know what, what I think could be cool is if we found a way to rent out that venue at Cascades and just yeah, the yo, show. Let me oh. let me get to that. Let me. I was I actually have something to say about that. Okay. But uh, we've been talking about that for a long time. But I was gonna say uh, a lot of the time I don't. I just kind of show up to the venues. Yeah. Yeah. And like, reg- if I'm like listed to perform, then obviously that's a little different. Like I'll be there and like be prepared and shit yeah but sometimes i'll just show up to venues and just with the attitude of like if they want me to perform yeah. i will yeah and like 90 percent, 80 to 90 percent of the time they ask me to perform yeah that's, that's awesome, awesome man yeah because they need somebody and awesome. it seems yeah. like you're finding some people you know like i keep seeing this tainted smooth dude around you fuck mm-hmm. with him that's cool mm-hmm. yeah tainted smooth uh Good people, one of the most uh just positive, positive people that I've ever met. He's just got that attitude of like, I'm gonna kill you, like I'm gonna kill you with kindness. <laughs> I was about to say <laughs> yeah, that is like, not positive. Got that, got that kind of mentality. It was like so cool. I'm gonna <laughs> kill you. He's <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> like, like he's the type of motherfucker. Like, if if you wanna. Like, he even, like, I saw, like, he made, like, a Facebook post or some shit, and it said, yeah. like, if you want to fight me, I'm going to just hug you. <laughs> that, like, sums him up. Yeah, like, yeah. he just, he's positive. One That's of the, cool. uh, one of the most, uh, <laughs> productive people that I've met as well. That motherfucker's always doing something, always. Yeah. He's actually, like, highly, very highly involved with a lot of the shows that I'm doing, yeah, you know, yeah, setting yeah. setting the shows up and all that. But oh, yeah. I've, I've seen I've, I've seen, seen a couple, couple different like promo pages, pages and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, like he's doing, doing something with edibles, edibles or something like that. A whole lot of shit going on that way, man. Yeah. That's uh, so cool. If you guys ain't tapped in with that part of the community, ice cream. Definitely edible. shout out to Tainus Smooth. I can shout out to the uh, all sorts of shit to turn into edibles, dude. I, I could Ice be a great edible. I, I could. Where's your brain, man? <laughs> it's not here. You made him laugh so hard that he's just. <laughs> well, yeah, because he is just like. No, he's that kind of guy. And he just like looks me right in the eyes. He says, "He's the kind of guy. that's like, I will kill you. I will kill you with kindness. Like, like, like I'm just like." Which which one is it? Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 I will kill you. <laughs> Shout out to uh, t- what you sipping on podcast. I ain't been on there yet, but I'm sure I will be at some point. He's all Tana Smooth. Also, the person that did that uh, interview that I had. Yeah, I don't know if yeah. You've seen yeah that. no, I've been seeing that. Is he? So he's doing interviews uh, out of like based out of Jackson, right? Like yeah. he's interviewing like artists, and or is he interviewing just rappers? Um, I mean, I would say mainly rappers yeah but just because it's it is like that's a big part of the hip-hop scene in yeah. jackson Tana smooth is a plays a big part in the hip-hop scene in yeah. jackson they all do really he's just you know one of the ones i'm closest with but uh it's not just rap like r&b influence type yeah. shit too sometimes you know yeah. singing melodic shit uh it's very hip-hop influenced but at the same time they're very open minded, you know. I'm not gonna say that like you could go up there with like a fucking uh country song right, and they would yeah. be turning you up. Because yeah, but it's not that type it, of crowd. Know? But yeah. at the same time, yeah. they're not gonna like boo you. Like right. literally their motto over there is like it's all love. Right. And they make sure that the crowd treats all of the performers with respect. Yeah, yeah. no, you need something like that because it, it can turn sour real quick. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like that. Yeah, because everybody's butts heads about, like, just like, expression in general. Like, you know, I mean, me and you, like, like it's it's hard to find people that we get along with in Jackson. I mean, the fact that we're both, like, from Jackson should be enough, but it's just, like, you know. Bro, we'll, we'll literally just go out and be recording a video, and someone will start screaming at us. Yeah. Or say some shit. It's crazy. We, every video we've recorded, something has happened. We had that, the police, dude. Yeah. The cops <laughs> patted me down. Yeah, they Fuck, almost they arrested out. Ethan. Crazy <laughs> like, as hell. Like a few weeks ago. <laughs> literally, we have, like, crazy. all of it on video and shit. Yeah. Dax yeah. is not one of those towns where it's like we're a <laughs> happy community. We're very split and divided in our ways. Yeah, blacks and whites. 
Well, south. Not, not necessarily. <laughs> south side. Yeah, I'm east kidding. Side. I'm kidding, dude. I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not being serious. Oh my god. You're just talking Jesus shit. Right. No. I mean, in a way, society <laughs> is kind of like that. Oh yeah. It, it's just based off like you know. It shouldn't be, but it still is. Monetary. Yeah, but some cities aspect. have like a sense of That's togetherness. I mean, people, Jax uh, doesn't yeah. really have a sense of togetherness. No. Like the south side, we're pretty fairly together. You know, like not really us, no. but. Crack I know people there, and they kind of know crack, so. crack, crack, crackheads. They, yeah, oh, they get yeah, together. Okay, yeah. they that's get a together. big part of Jackson. I'll be honest. Yeah. That's a big part of the country. Because <laughs> where I work, where I work, I have to stand out in the front mm-hmm. of this building and look out this big ass window and see crackheads and all day. I'm, I'm on a fucking main street of like way in the south. Where is it? It's, it's where? fucking. It's it's gross. It's on Michigan Ave. It's like if you were to drive down from the hospital towards. It's like Mike. in the mini downtown. You know, how I know. There's a main downtown it's ghetto there. over there, man. So, dude, there. It's not even ghetto. Over there. It's just that's where the homeless people. It's like you know where that Andes is. To. There's so many the Andes. Like, car yeah, you know where that Andes and is. Isn't one Andes. No, 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 no. There, no, no. There's like three Andes. There's one in there Michigan is? Center. There's one there's by the, one on the Gans- Speedway. Gans- yeah. And then there's one if you were to. I mean, if you're driving from the hospital, <laughs> you take a left out of the uh-huh. hospital and you start driving towards Meyer, uh-huh. right? There's an Andy's down there? There's an Andy's down there I know on that, that stretch. Uh-huh. I'm trying to think of, jog your memory if you know anything down there. Well, I know everything down there. There's oh, the, well, that's right. where there's the U-Hauls, yeah. there's the pop. Well, there the was a Polly's. Yeah. So that's right that's the, the same U-Haul. place. Oh. His boss. Oh, that building in the parking lot? His boss. Uh, no, no, <laughs> right next to that. Right oh. next to that abandoned building. Homeless oh. people have been a problem down there for a while. His boss came up with a thing where he glued a like is like a fifty cent piece to the ground, <laughs> and they would just sit there and watch homeless people go there and try to like pick it up. Dude, it, that's terrible. I know, I know. They wow. thought it was like the greatest thing ever. Like they're just wow. like, like that's, that's some shit kids would do. I know. <laughs> no, I they'll, they they come into the building and they'll use the bathroom and then they'll ask us if they can fucking stay. And shit. Yeah, and no. I, I Obviously a, not. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, dog. you don't want to stay here. <laughs> no. It's so dumb. Dog, I'll never oh. forget. I was driving in Jackson and I, it was over by the hospital. Yeah. Yep. And I saw somebody posted up on the corner. He looked mm-hmm. like he was homeless or something. And he had like his whole fucking setup. I know exactly where you're. St- talking about is it right by that game game on bar or whatever uh, right around it would, there, right by the hospital. right right by the yeah. hospital yeah, yeah. He, he had like his whole setup on the corner yep. and i shit you not this motherfucker was wearing a wife beater and a tie <laughs> Whoa. It's like a Disney character. Yeah, I swear, bro. A, a, like a white yeah. wife beater and a tie, like tied around his neck and all. Oh like, like bro, right. see, homeless that's people, an NPC. Homeless people <laughs> yeah. have some of the best fucking outfits I've ever seen in my oh, life. Yeah. There the was one time I was going down West Ave. There was a guy outside Long John Silver's waiting for the bus. He was oh. smoking a cigarette. <laughs> he had a fucking white fur coat. Oh, yeah. Just smoking a cigarette. He had sunglasses and he had his fucking shopping cart full of shit, but he was just sitting there. I almost stopped and took a picture of him because it was such an amazing <laughs> scene. Like Cat wow. Williams and he shit. He looked <laughs> amazing, but he doesn't know it because he's probably yeah. in fucking Looney Land. But it's like, you know. <laughs> That's the thing that makes him feel like NPCs because yeah. it might have been the same dude because he had a. He had no, a that big... guy's not an NPC. That guy's like a fucking quest giver. Yeah, but. <laughs> he looks so cool, dude. That guy's a. Retrieve quest. me. Yeah. <laughs> The missing two pounds of crack. <laughs> no, no. Retrieve me the missing jacket for this wife beater and tie combination. Find me the missing and I part. shall give you a reward, which is one like head. head. Retrieve yes. me the head. shopping cart and find me my dead dog. Not the dead dog. Three bottle caps. <laughs> like no. a fucking uh, Fallout or some no. shit. No, I saw. Yeah. I'm. It might have been the same dude because he's got the big old setup with the shopping cart completely yeah. filled and then stuff around yeah. it. And he was right from diagonal from my job, so I could see him out the window. And he's literally like this. It was like a long piece of plastic. He picked it up out of the shopping cart and dropped it. <laughs> and then he picked it up and then he dropped it. 
and then he picked like no, he's literally what? just picking shit what? up and dropping like, it. Man, it's like those <laughs> videos of people where they're like slowly like walking, like <laughs> yeah. but they're like falling man, backwards, like their world is fucking yeah. shit, uh-huh. tripping off acid, stuck in a so, loop or some shit. Yeah, dude, dude, I have said wow. that shit so many times to people that when you take that shit, it makes you feel like you're on a loop. Sometimes, sometimes, man, <laughs> your brain's just like. <laughs> but. But yeah, getting back to uh the fucking uh the Cascades <laughs> band show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. The Cascades band show. I'm not saying that I have anything like set set up for it anytime soon. I'm not trying to hype yeah. it up, hype you guys up that much. But what I am saying is uh I have had a plan for like fucking years now. Yeah. I'm you call it like an idea really. But I wanna put it you know, actually make it happen at some point. What I want to do is, uh, I want to have like a free show. Yeah. At the band show, like no no admission fee. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just to like show love to the community and whatnot. I don't know if they. Th- so all I know is that during the summer, they do shows for free at the band show on like Fridays. But it's like Friday like afternoons. And they have a whole bunch of artists do that, but um I don't know. It'd be interesting to do it after dark. Like yeah. if we could yeah. if you could get it like after I mean, because I know it tar- like the park technically like closes, like all parks technically yeah. close. But it's like I mean, if you could like secure that, that would be kinda There's cool. A way around when you have money. Yeah. yeah. You feel like if I See, that's why I don't want to do that unless I'm like up, like my yeah. name He's is out an there. Event organizer. We could try to help somehow. I mean, I yeah. want to see that shit happen. No, I I guarantee I mean, that all if you, you really got to do is contact the city, and you got like a yeah. whole bunch of like rappers on it. Yeah, that you could turn that into a pretty fucking big deal. Or that could, would be lit. Yeah, and you could hype it up Monte underground and then just like. The middle of the night. Yeah, I know, but that the police would shut that down yeah, they so shut, fast. Yeah. It would be yeah. crazy. You remember the neighbor, like, the neighbor like a hundred people there. Yeah. It'd be like the cops are here, scram, and everybody's like fucking <laughs> running. Like people fucking are jumping ants, in the fucking pond, dog. tripping over shit. Like, all the houses the behind there are all the old dead white of night. People. Yeah, see, their car. <laughs> that's why I'm not attempting to do yeah. that anytime soon because right. I want to see that whole fucking hill filled with people. Dude, I'm saying that if like if you coordinated it with a enough like artists i think that that is completely possible oh yeah like i think that enough people would show up to that because that'd be fun as shit on a summer night no that would be fun as fuck dude i always wanted to have like some type of mansion built on like not on the very top of the hill but like off to the side (laughs) of the hill like like you said, with enough money, you could probably yeah. be like, "Hey, I'm gonna you can't buy." Can't take my hill. I don't know. Like, I'll buy hill. this percentage of the hill. Dude, right. if we had a house up there, Shit, we could maybe. go there whenever we wanted. Yeah, to drive but, but, but the hill. plan for I'm, I'm gonna buy the hill. I'm gonna make it a water park. I want like <laughs> gonna make it a water. Park. I'm you gonna can't buy the hill. Yes, man. I can. I want I'm gonna a buy Cascades and make it a fucking water park. I want a garage that's like built into the hill, like That'd be sick. Like, like a fucking Batman. like the Bat That'd Cave or some shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you got Pretty the cool. right mindset. And then you could like you could for when people want to go sledding, you could make them pay. And then you got oh yeah, like a dude. Of state of I was okay. So this is another idea. If they don't want to let me, like that. That's what I mean. Body like body. when I have money, like. I c- I'll be able to do shit like this. I have money now, but not that much. Money. <laughs> bro, but, yeah, we didn't question that, bro. But, <laughs> turn it into Thompson Park. Like, buy the whole fucking <laughs> thing. <Jacob Thompson. laughs> no, I'm naming that shit something else. But, uh, the Profit Park. Yeah, yeah something like that. Stone but Park. <laughs> I wanted to say, like, if they don't want to let me build a house on that property, or like if they don't want to let me host an event, I know. Yeah, I'm, I know. I'm gonna hit them with that. Hmm. What if I bought you motherfuckers a ski lift? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be nuts. Bro, no. let me buy a ski lift, build it, and then let me build it. Sledding there is super mm-hmm. fun. Nah, even my water park idea wouldn't work. This, our city is very specific on things. Yeah. Cascades is technically a historical site. That's the only issue. Nothing historical in this town, at least, can be touched. Yeah, that's like the Roxy issue. Like Roxy Cafe, that whole building's historical. Really? It can never be taken down, ever. 
Yeah, well, that's natural disaster. I didn't even know that. Yeah, I love that. Or place. like, uh, Robert thinks it's so Cascades because they have the nine <laughs> eleven thing there. It's a historical Roxy? site. Yeah, it's a little over like Cascades. But I, I think it's okay. Like in terms of Jackson breakfast, it's Roxy's. average breakfast food, but it's a good vibe. Right, I mean, it's most it's breakfast places are all the same. Like when people are like Roxy's great, I'm like, okay, it's like a breakfast place. Like, hey man, most they should, of they cinnamon others. rolls. I mean, like I'd go to Rise. That's what my mom says. They have a really good cinnamon. That's all I got when I used to go there as a kid. I'd go there before I'd go to Denny's or IHOP. Yeah, no, me too. What's but I, I, I mean, in all in all honesty, my favorite's Cracker Barrel. It's weird. I just wow. like how they do their pancakes. What the fuck? And also, they give you real syrup. That, yo, they do give you real syrup. yo, they do real syrup. I just thought of the funniest fucking story. Oh, so shit. tell okay. me why I was at Steak and Shake with like probably three or four other people, right? And we're mm -hmm. just you know minding our own business high as fuck in steak and shake <laughs> steak and trying shake. to get Inside some like food you know staking it up shaking it up you <laughs> feel me yeah. and uh tell me why there's like fucking like eight to ten dudes just walk into steak and shake deep as hell like i'm what eight to ten of fuck. them yeah, that's deep as fuck. they walk right past like right into the building walk right past the counter right direct like they walk into the building and walk directly into the bathroom all eight what? to ten of them oh my God. and no. so naturally what was the no. profile like like what kind of people were they kids or uh I mean, just like, you know, just, it's just, haven. just people, it's just you know, like, just average people. Average people. I the mean, fuck? I'm not trying to like bring. Well, like, what was the rate? Like, you want to know the race? Like, was it was all like, well, yeah. I wasn't like, necessarily meaning that, but like, yeah. <laughs> what was the the age? Yeah, range? were they gay? okay? The age group. Were they gay? Did they look gay? No, they didn't look gay. Uh. <laughs> they, looked, they looked aggressively heterosexual. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I know exactly okay. So mean. basketball shorts, yeah, <laughs> all that shit. Yeah. Um. Okay. okay. So they go in. It, they're they're Why like they they, the age. I'd say the age range like shit sixteen to. 21 um like yeah, I mean, you can't you can't tell with some people yeah, yeah. that's true uh see so yeah, like maybe 15 From high school to out of high school 15 mm -hmm. to 19 Got 15 it. to 20 yeah but uh so naturally i get curious do you go in the bathroom i, I like walk up to the bathroom oh, and i shit. just open the door to see what the fuck's going on in there <laughs> these motherfuckers are in the steak and shake bathroom just straight up scrapping, bro. Yeah, that's why I was what? thinking. I was just what? like, it seems like they would go in there to fight. <laughs> like, I'm talking like straight up scrapping, Yo, bro. And you just walk and, in there and they're just like, what's up? Definitely, definitely. <laughs> kind of. I, I don't know definitely. if they noticed me or not, but I seen like, I seen it. I'm like, oh. And I just turned around and walked back to my table. <laughs> I would have fucking sat there and watched, dude. I would have been like, oh, hell yeah. Like, this is like Fight Club in the steak <laughs> and shake, dude. This is awesome. That's I just. Insane. I don't understand, like. <laughs> That's crazy. Why they have to hit each other, man? No, it's like <laughs> it's the steak and shake bathroom out of all places. Hey, like, like, yeah, let's meet up at steak and shake. <laughs> meet me at the steak and shake at five o'clock square. We can shoot the ones. You just gotta meet me in the steak and shake bathroom, square. bitch. The stakes are high, and you're gonna get shook. Like, all right, down, all right, you know? That's all right. We're done. Okay. It's a secret. Ethan, ring the bell. Secret code. Ethan, ring the bell. Know. You're done. Really, was that bad? Yeah, that was bad. I ruined it. Yeah. Well, guys. Yeah. All right. Damn. Is that Stone it? Stone Prophet. Yeah. Stone Prophet. Right. Right. Thank you. Check out his on. videos. He's on YouTube. We're Stone gonna Prophet. link him in the He's on Twitter. He's on Instagram. Oh yeah. He's Don't forget all to that. Add him to the Anything you want to shout out? I won't. Um. Any projects? Oh, any, shout out to uh, shout out to Akaria Bayless. That's like the main person that I work with in this music shit. That is uh my engineer. He's also a producer. I buy beats from him. A lot of my newer shit was beats that he made, actually. Um, he's a videographer. He's my videographer. You know, he's a photographer. Does all types of shit. Man is extremely talented. Also one of the most genuine people that I've ever met. So, yeah, shout out to Akaria Bayless. Um, stay on the lookout because there's going to be new videos and new songs coming soon. I'm sitting on a whole bunch of unreleased shit right now. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for having me on the podcast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's been thank fun as coming. fuck, and I That's hope to come back good. at some point. Yeah, dude, we'll have you on fucking whenever that. Anytime. Whenever right. Stone Prophet wants oh to be Oh, my gosh.